Hey guys, I'm Zoe and I play The Sims and today we are building Glinda and Elphaba's house. I mean apartment, which is really exciting. This is, um, sorry, for my story build series. I, yeah, I created that and then was like, hey, we're doing a whole new series on my channel, story builds, where I get to talk about stories because I read and watch too many of them and I have created too many social medias now to create another one just to talk about them. So we're doing it here uh, and then I immediately left for two weeks. So I'm sorry, uh, my family was away. I mean, is away currently. They get back tomorrow. Um, and so I pre-recorded all this stuff, but then because they were away, suddenly I was, I don't know, doing a lot of things. Um, and also they took the computer that has The Sims on it. So there's all this stuff that I like wanted to do with The Sims and then just couldn't. So I pre-recorded a couple of things and I finally had time to edit them because essays and uh. uh <laughs> so my next assignment is due on Monday. And today is Friday, so I've got I've got time, I've I've got time. Uh, uni life is is great. I actually, fun story before we get to talk about um Glinda and Alphaba, uh, is that I, so I requested and I um left my laptop charger in one of the uni buildings over the weekend. Like I was working in there with a group on Friday, forgot it, came back on Saturday to try and get it, and the building was locked. I was like, well, so I worked for um, like a bit in the library on the library computers and then was like, hmm, what am I going to do for like the entirety of Sunday? Because I couldn't edit videos and I couldn't like go on websites and I couldn't um, d d watch lectures and I couldn't study and I couldn't write my essay because it has to be typed. And so I was like, hmm, what do I do with myself? So uh, uh, fortunately, mum, uh, when they went away, they left behind the Apple TV. Uh, so I've been watching, which has YouTube. So I've been watching, um, uh, I've been watching back, um, streams by Outside Extra and Outside Xbox, which, who I watch a lot, given that I don't own an Xbox. Like, my brother owns an Xbox 360, but, like, I, I, I can't play any of the games they're talking about. They just have really, so I'm really up on gaming news, but I don't actually own any gaming consoles. So, um... Yeah, that's a fun fact. This is Elphaba's little storeroom in the corner. I don't know, she just has little potiony things. I thought that felt like her. Whereas Glinda, in contrast, has um, an ice cream machine and like a cake thing. <laughs> I never know when, whether to call her Galinda or Glinda because obviously if you're familiar with the musical, she's called Glinda. They're from Wicked. I didn't say that. I just assumed people knew. They're from Wicked, uh, the musical and all the books. Um, the books are far superior. I mean, they're not superior. The musical is also great. But the books are amazing, uh, very political, very adult. If, if you are a small child or feel you identify internally as a small child, uh, maybe not. But they're really good. I don't know. They're, they they are. They have um, a slightly detached mindset. Um, so you're never quite sure what the characters are thinking and feeling because the characters themselves don't know what they're thinking or feeling. Um, which I really like, and especially for a character like Elphaba, the Wicked Witch of the West, who's so... She's become kind of inimical in pop culture. I mean, obviously she's inimical because they invented a musical and a book series. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? That um, she's so symbolic that instead of trying to get inside her head and be like, this is exactly what she was thinking and exactly what she was feeling, um, the author is Gregory Maguire, sort of left it open to interpretation that you sort of get some interiority, but she doesn't fully know herself what she's thinking. So this is me trying to go, is there an Elphaba couch? No, there is not an Elphaba couch. She just gets a lot of black chairs. Um, I'm, I originally went for, a, was going to go for like businessy ones, like really nice luscious ones. And then I realized that Elphaba actually doesn't care about comfort. She'd just be like, this is a chair. This is in the shape of a chair. <laughs> It'll do. Whereas, um, Glinda has the fancy couches with the pretty cushions and they all match. And Alphaba's like, just like, I pick this chair and then I pick this chair and then I, I, they're chairs. Like, what do you want from me? I like these characters a lot. Also, I wanted to put that um, green and pink banner from, um, was that from Get to Work or Get, Get Together? Because that that's the one with clubs. Um, I just patted my cat and she like jumped sky high. She's like, what are you doing to my tail? I'm sorry, cat. Um, yeah, the banner thing because it had pink and green, but then I decided... It was too lame. I, yeah, didn't know how to decorate this place because suddenly I realized I had too many colors. I had black, green, white, and pink, and you were supposed to only have like three. So slight mistakes. I do like how the um, wall art seemed to be holding the 
the paintings. That was pretty cute, but I may or may not. Yeah, I think I deleted it. Uh, it was cute. I think I'll do that in a child's room, actually, because that's um, something you could do in a child's room and it would actually work. But yes, uh, if you know the musical uh, Wicked, it was originally a book series. Oh, by the way, that balcony on the side, I forget that exists. Uh, so nothing is done on that balcony. It's also next to Elphaba's bedroom. And when I realized I, at the very end, I zoomed out and I was like, oh, there's a balcony there. Um, it's next to Elphaba's room and it just, it didn't make sense for her to have, like, if, if you moved into a house, like Elphaba and Glinda moved into a house, Glinda would be like, I am taking the balcony. It is mine. So it didn't make sense for Elphaba to end up with a balcony, even though she'd like actually appreciates plants. And she has, um, like in a tower room at Kiyamoko at the end, she has a, um, a window and sort of very airy, naturey, slightly taxidermy things. And me and bathrooms in builds, it's just, you may have noticed a trend. I always forget they exist and they end up in the worst spots ever. It's so bad. I always draw out the room plan. Everything's perfect. You got the lounge, you got the kitchen, you got the bedrooms, you got the outdoor space, it sort of entertaining areas. And then I'm like, oh, I forgot a bathroom after I've like finished the entire house. So I finished the whole downstairs and then I was like, oh, probably should have put a bathroom down there, but it's finished now. So I'm just gonna smush one upstairs, I guess. Uh, I'm sorry. The like best bathroom situation I ever had is in my not so berry house, which like my not so berry gen one house, which you can see on my Tumblr, which is linked down below always in all my videos. Um, and that one had two upstairs bathrooms right next to each other, pretty much. Oh, they weren't, they weren't quite, they were slightly apart. And then the third, the only bathroom downstairs was actually an ensuite, which is terrible. It's a terrible bathroom situation. I built a build actually for, for somebody and I had four bathrooms who were all right next to each other. And they were the weirdest shaped bathrooms you have ever seen. I'm sorry. I think it was for footy girl 04 on Tumblr. I built her a house, but I don't remember what the house was called. Um, oh, that might've been the, that might've been the old towery stone one i don't know if you look at my builds there's only like eight builds you'll find a tone a stone towery one but yeah the bathroom sitch there mm. Mm. well uh it's a little interesting oh but let's just put it like that it's, it's a little interesting i'm really bad at bathrooms i really need to sorry i'm sorry can you hear that that's my cat jumping up and down on my desk because there's a shelf like on top of my desk and then there's the desk itself so she's jumping like from the floor to the desk and then the desk to the shelf and there's a shelf back to the desk sweetie how about you just sit on the floor and uh, give me another 10 minutes goodbye kitty okay you can come back in a sec i always feel mean putting her down so i'm like i'm sorry i would play with you like why do you only want to play with me now this is like you you guys all want cats and dogs in the sims but do you really is the question um Sorry, I'm just writing the old stone house down. So I put a card there. So hopefully you saw a card there. Otherwise that note was for nothing. Uh, what are we talking about? Glinda's fancy room. My gosh. Yeah. I decided I wanted fanciness. And those columns are white, but they come out grey. And it just... Those kind of like tiny glitches really annoy me. Because I'm like, I just want it to be perfect. And then nothing in life is perfect. So I'm perpetually disappointed. Um, speaking of disappointment, I started watching The Magicians. Not because it's disappointing, but because one of the characters, uh, the main character, is kind of disappointed with everything other than being a magician. Which, to be fair, me too. <laughs> if, if I could be a magician, anything other than being a magician would be, like, solidly disappointing. Um, that's a good show. I just borrowed the first book from the library. I've read the first 12 pages. They're, they're good, solid 12 pages. That's, what is my, uh, we're just going to ignore my cat. Uh, she's doing cat things. She's showing off for you. Because this is the first time she's gotten to make noise in the background of a video for a while. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what my cat is thinking. Uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of books. Yeah, I just finished the fourth book of, of uh, the Wicked series. There's four books in the series. So that's the last one. Um, and the first one's about Elphaba. Who, just in case you didn't know, is the Wicked Witch of the West. I don't know if that's self-explanatory. But I'm explaining it anyway. Um, and the second one is about um, this child she picks up, Leah. And the third one is about um, the the cowardly lion, Brr, who um, and the third one's weird because it like crosses over the timeline of the first and second. So first, second, and fourth follow on from each other linearly, and the third one's kind of in the middle of the first and second and ends 
like at the end of the second book. Which, but it's still it's still interesting because it's about a totally different character, and all the characters are so like they're so flawed and real, and none of them are like, oh yes, I am the hero, and I shall go be heroic. They're all like, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> what is anything? I guess I'll just it's, uh, do things, and then eventually they realize they have a quest. Like um, Leah goes, okay, I'm gonna go looking for um this girl I used to live with who was kidnapped, and so that becomes his quest, and so he's sort of like, okay, this seems decent. This seems like something I can work towards, but it's not like ah uh, yes I am mighty and noble and I don't know, they're they're not as heroic as typical characters and I I like that that they seem more real because they're flawed, and it's it's good it's it's good read read them read them all. Also interestingly I was I looked up um Elf F Baum who wrote the original Wizard of Oz book which is an original book like the movie isn't the isn't the original it was based on a book series by Elif Baum, because he wrote 14 of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, 14 of them. Oh my gosh. And I just, yeah. Wow. But also, like, I thought most of the um, world building inside um, Wicked, the series, was uh, all Gregory Maguire's. And now I'm reading this article, not this article, it's Wikipedia. Uh, now I'm reading the Wikipedia s series of um, the original Wicked books. And I'm like, oh, all of this world building is like, in the original. So what part of it is Gregory Maguire's and what part of it is Elif Balm's? And so I think my mom bought me, or somebody somebody bought me when I was like six, a complete anthology of um, It Wizard of Oz. At least I assume it's an anthology. It's really thick. <laughs> like, seriously, it, it better have a lot of, like more than one books in there. I'm just saying. Um, and I think I should read it now to be like, what's going on in here? But also I have 12,000 other things to read. And, um, I mean, I, g I guess in the theme of this video, I should probably read it. Uh, <laughs> who knows, maybe in a future story build we'll see the, the house that Dorothy was in. Because I'll actually have a description of what that house might have looked like. Maybe, if I read the- I assume there's a description of that house, because if there isn't, I mean, that's kind of half the point of the start of the book, I assume. Uh, Elphaba's room, it's one of those things where you're like, Elphaba only has a room because houses come with rooms, and she's like- <laughs> obliged to have one I feel I don't know she's I'm getting most of her personality from the book she's kind of one of those people who's just like I have things to do this is not my priority but I guess I'll deal with it because I have to uh <laughs> which to be fair is solid life gold um <laughs> how how I deal with most of my life uh I will admit that my audio and the video are totally out of sync so who knows what's really going on. Um, if I mention something specific and then it happens like four minutes later or 30 seconds ago, just bear with me. I decided her room should be a little bit cluttered because I kind of wanted, yeah, shelfy things. But um, I wanted a little bit of clutter, but I also don't think she owns that much. So it was kind of a, t a toss up between, I feel like she's one of those people who just has stuff wherever it ends up and also I don't know if she owns things uh she kind of because she is a bit of a militant activist for a while and so she's not really in luxury it was um Glinda end up ends up marrying I don't know a prominent sort of political bourgeois figure and being sort of Lady Glinda Chaffrey um his surname is Chaffrey if that tells you anything about him I just, I really like the rose petals as well. It's just, it's very, it's very Glinda. Um, and I want to call her Galinda because it's just, like, that was her original name. Um, Glinda is uh, the the more dignified one and Galinda is more of a, um, sort of the country area that she comes from in um, Gilligan, which is, this is what I mean, there's so much world building and maps and things, you should read the books. Just read, the, read them. This entire video is just a promo for um, the Wicked books. Read them and uh, then come back to cry in the comments down below. So like if you like, subscribe for more chaos, and uh, comment down below as well what uh, build you would like to see me do next, or what story you'd like that build to be from. Uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>